Bill Cosby's defense lawyers are making their case right now in a Pennsylvania courtroom. The actor arrived this morning accompanied by his wife, Camille. It's the first time she's appeared by his side for the trial. The prosecution rested on Friday after testimony from Cosby's accuser, Andrea Constant. Cosby faces three charges of aggravated indecent assault if he's convicted. Each carries a penalty of up to 10 years in prison. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman has been following the tr this trial and joins us at the table to discuss. Ricky, good morning. Good to see you. A lot of people have been asking where has Camille Cosby been or any of his daughters. This is this is an important sign, you think? I think it's a critical sign. I, I think it is so important to a jury about how they react to a defendant as to who he is supported by. If his wife will not stand up for him, why should the jury? Yeah. His TV daughter's been there, but no family member. So it's, it's very, very time. different. Yeah. You know, we used to say when I was in the defense side of the business that if there was a spouse, if there was a daughter, if there was a son, that we insisted that they be at court every day. I understand why they wanted to keep her out of the firestorm, but she needs to be there now. Will Does Bill he... Cosby take the stand? Uh, I think that if Bill Cosby takes the stand, he is asking to get a good long sentence uh, for sure. And why is that? Because what you have with a judge is a judge will say, okay, I understand if someone committed an offense years ago and I will sentence accordingly. But if someone who committed an offense commits perjury in my courtroom, if I believe that they are not telling the truth, then I'm gonna sentence them to the maximum. Bill Cosby has to make the ultimate choice because it is his life and his liberty. But the risks involved, if he testifies, are substantial. They have great appellate uh, errors here and they can go forward with that appeal also when you look at all the women who were excluded all of that testimony excluded he opens the door it's all coming in quick answer did the prosecution make a strong case yes they did um, Andrea Constant herself was strong buttressed by the rape treatment uh, center expert who talk, talks about the fact that people do delay in reporting and people do contact their accuser. She was really terrific on rape trauma syndrome and also the toxicologist who talked about the effects of Benadryl, all which support Andrea Constant. So if Bill Cosby doesn't take the stand, what's their likely strategy? Well, their likely strategy is really three options. He takes the stand, he doesn't take the stand and they rest and they argue simply on reasonable doubt, which might be the wisest thing, mm -hmm. or they put on experts of their own to testify differently about toxicology and differently about rape trauma syndrome, okay. or perhaps they even call witnesses to go about Andrea Constance's testimony and poke holes in it. Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much.